Today I'm here in Hello Kitty Cafe to give you guys a full, complete guide to the Hello Kitty 50th anniversary scavenger hunt. I have a few videos about the binoculars and the keys and the locations of the collection items that you have to find, but I don't have a full video just dedicated to the full thing in general. So this video should help you find anything you're looking for. And since I have been doing the scavenger hunt for a while now, I do know all the locations to every single one of these things. And if you are trying to find what you need to collect to find these collection items, go up here to the question mark and it'll tell you what you need to do. So when it refreshes, you can see exactly what you have to do and for now you do have to find the telescopes and do the obbies in the city and find the hello kitty fans so that's what i'm going to show you now but there is chest and keys you have to find and i will show you how to do that along with the other obbies there is like co-op obbies that you have to do and that is everything you have to do to find the collection items. So the first thing you have to do, obviously, in order to even find the collection items is go to the city. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's head to the city. I'm gonna teleport using the map and I'm gonna go straight to the city store. So depending on the week and depending on the refresh, since it refreshes, the fans are in a bunch of different locations. You can find a fan here by the slide and you can also find a fan behind here by the gift shop and everything. And you can also find a fan back here by the machines. I think you can even find one over here, but it looks like there is no fans on the first floor. If you go upstairs, you can find a fan back here behind the decor shop. They're kind of hiding on the second floor right here. Looks like we don't have a fan back here this week, but there could also be one behind the outfit shop or on the side of the outfit shop. And it looks like for this week, we have this fan right here. So let's go ahead, talk to them. They'll give you a shovel. And I'll also show you the shovels if you don't know already. But let's go to the top floor because there's also some fans up there. If you go up here, you can find a fan over here by this slide. There's also a binocular right there. I'll show you all the binocular locations soon. But yeah, talk to them and they give you a blue shovel. There's also a few different colors and there can be a random amount. There can be like two to like five fans. So just check all these locations and you should be able to find them. There's another one right back there. Let's talk to them. Give us a shovel. They gave us a green one. Sometimes there's one there and sometimes there's one right there. That's all the locations where I've been able to find fans. They're always inside the city store. So if you are looking for fans, always look inside the city store. There is none that is outside of the city store but that's all of the locations of the fans for the shovels if you actually don't know where to use the shovels go down to these docks right here and on the beach there'll be glowing sand piles so just to backtrack here this is where you're going to actually use your shovels So now that we got the fans and we got our shovels, and again, there can be different amounts of shovels depending on the week, there's also binoculars. And one of the locations right there, that is one of the locations for the binoculars. Let's go ahead and use it. You have to go back and forth and try to find the collection item. There it is right there, and I'll give it to you. So that is one of the locations of the binoculars. And there also can be one back there. There's one right there for me. I think there could be one here, but I know that there can also be one on the other side. So you might check on both sides, but there's a binocular back here. I'm gonna go grab it. As far as I know, that is all the locations of the binoculars inside the city store. There's more locations you can look for. So let's go ahead and head down to the very bottom. And there can also be one on this obby right here. Let's jump down and let's see if there is one by the obby. It looks like there isn't. They're usually pretty close to the bottom. I do not see one. 
So if you are missing a binocular, you might want to check the obby because there is a chance there could be one. I think it's just like right there, I think. I don't think it's too far up, but that is one of the locations your binocular could be or telescope. They call it a telescope. You could also find one on the bus stops. There could be one right there. There isn't one for me there. And there also can be one on other train stations too. Did I say bus stop? I meant train station. There isn't one there, but I think I have one over here. So also check your train stations. There is a possibility there could be a binocular. Yep, there's one right there. I'm gonna go up there and grab that. But that is another location. So check your train stations. Let's go ahead and use our binocular here. There we go. So that is another location to look in is your train stations. And then the other last location for your binocular is on top of the police station over here. Looks like I might not have one, but let's go ahead and check anyways. And to get up there, all you have to do is just jump, jump, jump on the side of the building. There could be one sitting here and there can also be one right there and there is one right here. So let me go ahead and grab this as well. So there we go. That is all of the telescope slash binocular locations. That is where you can find all of them. And again, they're going to be a different amount each week. It depends on the update and how it refreshes. But there was what? three for me four for me this week the very last thing you have to do is obbies and the obbies are super super easy to find they are these rainbow obbies right here you just have to complete them they're pretty easy sometimes there's only two sometimes there's four sometimes there's none looks like i might have three so you just want to go ahead and do your obbies they do not take long at all and they're really really easy and there is also keys and chests that you have to do so for the keys and chests, they are around the city store. I got my last sand pile, so I'm gonna teleport over to the city store here. But there is multiple chests. There could be one here, there could be one back here. They look way different than those chests. There could also be a few over here, and they can also be behind the store, and they can also be on the other side of the store. So when you're trying to find those key chests, just go all the way around the city store. There can be like two, there can be four, I think there can even be like five. So just go around the city store and try to find them. Once you find them, you want to interact with them. And once you interact with them, they'll tell you where you have to go look for the key. That's the scavenger hunt part of that is you have to actually look for the key. I'll go ahead and play a clip of that so you guys can see what that kind of looks like and some of the locations so you guys can use that to try and help you guys find the key locations to the chest. And this one says it's near the train station. It might be different for you guys. So the first one, the blue key is near the train station. You have another one of the chests back here. This is the yellow one. The yellow key is near the area around the hospital. So we got train station, hospital. Go to the other side over here. And the two other chests are over here. You have one back here. I think this one's the green chest. The green key is near the cherry macaron store. And then the other chest is just right over here. And this is the purple chest. And this one says the ice cream shop. If your guys' location are different in the chest, I will go on my alt account and show you guys what locations are on my alt account. All right, let's go check the locations on my alt account. They should be different. The blue key is near the second floor of the city store. That one's different. The yellow one is near the baseball field. That one's also different. Let's go to the other side and check out these two other chests. You got the green chest. This one says near the cafe. And then you got this chest. The purple key is near the third floor. Those are the other locations. I'm sure there's more. And if they are different for you guys, just try to find the landmark it gives you. It's kind of easy to find. They're kind of glowing. But first, I'm going to show you guys the locations on my main account. Let's start out with the blue chest that says near the train station. The yellow chest also says near the hospital. And they're kind of both in the same areas. So go over here. 
to the cinema roll billboard and that is where you're going to find the train station one and you will more than likely also find the hospital one because that one is near over there too so over here you can see one right there that one is the yellow chest so let's pick it up and then there's this one right here this is the blue chest and we can pick this one up it's just right underneath the billboard and the yellow one was right here near the neighborhood area so now let's head back to the city store the other two was the macaron and the ice cream and those guys are over here that's the big red building and this ice cream building and you can easily see the two right there so let's pick this one up now we got that one, and then over here we got the other one, which is the green chest. And now we can go and open up all of those chests. If your locations are different, my alt account might have the locations, and I will show you guys that next. I think the second floor and the third floor will probably be the easiest to do, so let's go and do those really quick. Let's see, it says near the second floor, it should be pretty easy to see, it's a glowing key, so here is the blue key, so it's like behind the chrome UGCs, it might be slightly different locations for you guys, but I would check around here if you have the second floor. Now for the third floor, oh it's right over there, I just passed it when I went upstairs, well this is where the purple key is located so let's go ahead and collect that this one is near the cafe baseball field okay cafes over here this is the white building this is the green key now let's go and teleport to Kurobi dash and then we'll head towards the baseball field and it should be around ah oh, right there right on top it is right there awesome okay that is all the locations on my alt account so that is the chest part and the key part next we have the co-op hobbies and that is over here so go to the fields over here there can be one here and there could be some on the side and the co-op obbies are called co-op obbies because you need a friend to complete them but a good thing about that is usually you can say in chat that you need help or there'll be someone there that is already trying to get it there's usually some people there that also need to get the chest too so you can usually get some help with them so that is where you can find the co-op obbies is at the field and on the side but you can also find a co-op obby behind here there's usually two um with the smaller ones there can be like four but that is the co-op obbies and hopefully this video was helpful that is every single thing that you need to do once you do it you can go ahead and claim and you get some tickets or sometimes you can get some tokens and then you can also hit these milestones right here and get these bigger pictures and this cool hello kitty statue so you actually do get stuff out of it you get tokens as well and you can exchange those tokens at the 50th anniversary exchange store there's two types of tokens one is from the scavenger hunt and the other one is from the mystery museum and it changes so every week it changes there's new things in here and there's also new obbies or dig spots or chests so it does change but with this video you should be able to do all of it you should be able to figure out how to find everything and if you're ever missing just like a few of them you can also leave and come back and you can find them in different places i believe that i think that works for the telescopes but that does work for some of the things so you can also try that if you need to but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys later bye